Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another By Request song tutorial. In today's session I'm going to be breaking down a country music classic in Willie Nelson's Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. Now I'm going to be breaking down the chord progressions and strumming patterns and also the transitions, walk downs and walk ups for the verse and chorus sections and also Willie's guitar solo. I got a full tab for you at patreon.com slash swiftlessons, support the channel there and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now let's get started with a full demonstration, you're going to see what you can figure out just using your ear and your musical instincts, then you can move on to the instructional segments. Let's get started. One, two, three, four. In the twilight glow, I see her. Blue eyes crying in the rain. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with our intro section. We're in standard tuning, key of E major. I'm gonna get started with the demonstration, then I'll break it down for you. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so a pretty simple riff there, just repeating two times through. I'm getting started with an E major chord fret it. For the beginners, that's second fret of the A string. 2nd fret of the D string, and my index finger, my pointer, on the 1st fret of the G string. I'm getting started striking the A string, and I'm hammering my middle finger down. That's going to be followed by a down up stroke. Next we're going to hit the root note of the chord, the open E string, and then do another down up stroke. We put that together and we have... Okay, so just repeat it two times through, just like that. If you have that, you're ready to move on to the verse section. Okay, very good everybody. You have that intro section down. Now we're jumping into the verse section. We're going to take this line by line, following along using my chord sheet at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. So getting started with line number one, we're going to have an E, A, E, change, then walk up to the five chord, B. It's going to sound like this at a slow tempo. And the twilight glow, I see her. All right, then that gets me to line number two. Okay, so we started off doing essentially what we did in the intro section minus that hammer on. So we're gonna have it two times, the A string down, up, E string down, up, A string down, up, E. I'm gonna stop there, and I'm gonna do just a single downstroke 
on the A major chord. You put that together and we have in the twilight glow, right on glow, that low E string, the strum of the A chord, and then we're gonna return back to the E chord. But now, it's a really funny thing. The alternating bass is going to be reversed. Before we were going A string to E string, now we're gonna go E string to A string for the remainder of the song. Okay, so, in the twilight glow, I see her. I'm going to repeat the riff now. I'm going E down, up, A down, up, E down, up. And then I'm going to walk up to the five chord. Zero, one, two, on the A string to set up my B bar chord, that'll get me to line number two. Now, just a heads up for everybody, the B bar chord can be a little bit challenging. I've got the second fret of the A string, and I'm gonna use this technique where I'm taking my ring finger and barring across the D string, G string, and B string. Okay? Now, that's just a really convenient way of playing this chord considering the different walks that we have to do. But, if you're a beginner, you might wanna consider using B dominant seven sounds great for this song and it's really common in country songs. So that's going to be second fret of the A string, first fret of the D string, second fret of the G string. Okay, so now I've got the root, the third, and the flat seven. All right, then my pinky can go to the second fret of the high E string. B seven, a very, very good substitute for the bar chord shape if you're a beginner and you don't feel like playing any bar chords. Okay, so now let's put together the intro section and line number one. That way everybody can get a sense for how we're jumping into the song. So getting started with that E major chord. One, two, three, four, hammer. to line number two, Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. Okay, so line number two is gonna sound like this. Blue eyes crying in the rain. Okay, so we're on that B major chord. We're hitting the root note. Then we're gonna play down up. Okay, strike in the D string, G string, and B string. Then jump the root up to the low E string. Okay, and then follow that with a down up stroke. Do that twice. Blue eyes crying in the... And then back to the E major chord. And remember, we're going E string to A string throughout the entire song from here on out on that E chord. Okay. Now you basically have the gist of what's going on in the verse. We're going to repeat what we did in line number one verbatim. When we kiss goodbye and part it. That walk up to the B chord. Okay, so line number three. E string down up, A string down up. E string down up, A string, A chord. E string down up, A string down up, E string down up, O, one. All right, now, our fourth and final line of the verse. This should be very familiar. We have that B major chord. I knew we never back to the E, meet again. Then we're gonna walk up to the A major chord to start the chorus. Okay, so we had two repetitions, alternating bass over the B major chord. We got back to the E chord. E string, down, up, A string, down, up. E, F, F sharp, G sharp. Okay, so zero, one, two, four, and then that will get you to the A major chord. Okay, to start that chorus with a little bit of alternating bass. Now, when you get to the chorus section, make sure that you're prepared to play the A major chord with a bar. Okay, so my index finger barred across the D string, G string, and B string. That's gonna allow you to throw in a few walk down transitions as well. 
Okay, very good everybody. You have the intro and the verse section complete, and now you're jumping into the chorus section. We just walked up to it. Now we have the A major chord barred. All right, and line number one of the chorus is gonna sound like this. I'll play it and then I'll break it down. Love is like a dying ember. D A. All right, then the E major chord to start line number two. So very simple. We're gonna have three measures of the A major chord before throwing in the D major shape and then back to the A chord. So. A string, down, up, E string, down, up. Two more times. Stop there on the low E string on the third repetition, and then throw in that quick D major chord. And then go back to the A chord, where we're going to throw in a walk down. Bass, down. Change the bass note to G sharp, then F sharp. You can use your thumb or your index finger. So. And then transition back to the E major chord where you're gonna know what to do. Start in line number three with that E major chord with the alternating bass E string to A string. Okay, so two measures of the E chord on line number two. Oh. Memories re. Then go to the B major chord, remain. Okay, so we had two measures of the E chord, then basically two measures of the B chord, but we're gonna have a walk in transition back down to E. So over this B chord and line number two of your chorus, we're gonna have bass, down, up, jump the bass up, bass, down, up, then the walk in transition. All right, so we're going to play zero to two with a hammer, play two again, then open A string, G sharp, fourth fret of the low E string, then down to F sharp, and then the open E string to start your strumming pattern over the E chord on line number three. Okay, let's put lines one and two together of the chorus. Should sound like this. Love is like a dying ember. D chord A. Walk down. Oh. B major. Walk. Okay, now we're on to line number three, where we're basically going to be playing what we played in the verse section. Through the ages I'll remember. Chord. Okay, so line three of the chorus was just like line one of the verse. Now we're on to uh, line four of the chorus, which is going to be just like the verse as well, but we're going to throw in uh, a quick little E A E chord change to kind of usher in the guitar solo section. So line four of your chorus is going to sound like this bass, down a bass, down a bass, down a bass. The E chord, bass, down a bass, A chord. Jump back to the E chord for a full measure. Bass, down, a bass, down, a bass. Okay, and right there, that's where we're gonna start the guitar solo section, uh, which at first I'm gonna break down the rhythm section of that, and then I'm gonna show you Willie's licks for that section, which are really cool. Okay, excellent work everybody. You had the intro, verse, and chorus section complete. Now we're moving on to the guitar solo section. First, I'm gonna show you what you can play as a rhythm guitarist before breaking down Willie's guitar solo. So it's really very simple. We're gonna start off with the E major chord. We're gonna have that alternating bass strumming pattern for four measures, then move on to the B major chord for two measures, before going back to the E major chord for two measures. Then we're going to have another four measures of the E chord, another two measures of the B chord. Then we're gonna throw in kind of a sequence, a descending sequence of some minor six and major six chords. So it's gonna sound like this. Let's see if you can follow along. Then I'm gonna show you that last little kind of complicated chord sequence uh, that kind of goes along with what Willie is playing in the lead guitar line. So the E major chord, one, two, and three, four, one, Two 
more measures. One more. We go to the B chord. You can walk it if you want. And then go back to the E major chord. Alright, then it repeats the E chord. One. to the E major chord where we're going to play. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then go to the A major chord to throw in uh, the next chorus, kind of uh, chorus two, which is basically the end of the song. Okay, so that last little descending chord progression. I got the E major chord, and I'm just going to play the E string, the B string, and the G string, kind of doing a little paintbrush upstroke hybrid style with my right hand. All right, then I'm going to play C minor six, third fret of the A string, second fret of the G string, and fourth fret of the B string. So the E chord, the C minor six. All right, then bring that down a half step for B minor six. All right, then we're going to keep our pinky where it is, take everything else off, and grab the B flat note, the first fret of the A string. Okay, and just grab the A string, B string, and get a little bit of that G string in there too, before going to the A major chord, barring to start chorus number two. Okay, so if you start from the B major chord, line two of that guitar solo progression. B. E chord, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now I'm safely into my chorus section. Okay, now that you know the rhythm behind the guitar solo, let's learn those licks. Okay, jumping into our guitar solo. These licks are pretty simple, so I think we'll be able to get through it pretty quickly. Demonstrating line number one over E major, dancing around this E major bar chord shape. Okay, it's gonna sound like this. E major. Okay, pretty simple there. I'm on the ninth fret of the D string, ninth fret G, seventh fret of the B, and then I'm gonna slide up to the ninth fret of the B string just as the E chord is coming in for another measure. Okay, that's played kind of quick. So it's one, two, three. All right, then we're gonna bend. Return back to nine. All right, then switch positions back to that original shape. Okay, so that was nine, nine, nine with a bend, and then returning back down to the regular note with some vibrato before returning back to the G string ninth fret. You put all that together and we have. That gets you to line two here where we're gonna play. Okay, so I started off descending. Just like that, I have the B string ninth fret, and then go to the seventh fret of the high E string. Do that same thing down a half step, then down another half step, strike both notes together. All right, then we're going to play nine seven. All right, then the ninth fret of the D string, and then we're going to go to the 10th fret B, 7th fret high E string. All right, and then real quick, we're gonna play 9, 7. B string and high E string. All right, you put line two together and we have. All right, lines one and two together. Descend. All 
Okay, then we're gonna let that seventh fret high E string ring out for the full measure, and then that'll get us into line number three, uh, where we're gonna do a slide away on beat three. So watch out for that. So we have one and two, three, four, one, two, three. <laughs> Okay, that's line three for you. Okay, so line three begins with that slide away, ninth fret sliding down to the fourth fret. All right, just real fast. All right, then we're going to play basically the exact same notes that we played in the beginning of the solo, but in a different position. Okay, surrounding the uh, D chord position of our E chord. Okay, so this is an E chord in D shape that we're surrounding. We're gonna play. All right, so that was G string four, the B string five, seven. All right, we slid from seven up to nine, tapped it a couple times before bending, and then returning back down to the ninth fret. All right, then from there we're going to play. All right, so that last little lick is nine, nine, seventh fret B string, ninth fret B string, then we're gonna bend, return, and then do a slide away. Slide your ring finger, and then grab the fifth fret of the B string with your index finger to complete line number three. Okay, all of line number three now, one, two, three. Okay, you put that together with lines one and two, and it should sound like this. One, two, three. All right, line number two. All right, let that ring, and then. Okay, now we're moving on to line number four. We're gonna have. All right, then finishing it up. With line number five. Okay, so we're closing up shop here on the guitar solo. Uh, the first lick that we need to play for line number four is. All right, D string and G string, nine, nine. Hammer on the B string, seventh up to nine. Back to seven, back to nine, and back to seven. And it's kind of jagged, you know, his style is very, it's kind of rough around the edges, but so beautiful and so expressive. All right, next play. All right, that was a hammer. Seven up to nine, back to seven and then ninth fret of the D string. All right, then we're gonna close up shop with seven sliding up to nine, back down to seven, and then we're going to play five, five. That's where we're gonna start our descending line through those minor six and major six chords, okay? Remember that rhythm that we played. So, playing all of line number four, before we jump into that descending line, we have Okay, now we're gonna play. I'm holding a C minor six chord. I've got the eighth fret of the low E string, seventh fret of the D string, and the eighth fret of the G string. I'm gonna play E, D, G, E. Do the exact same approach, one half step down. All right, next I'm gonna switch down my middle finger and my index finger, but leave my ring finger right where it is. So. And then we're 
repeat the exact same picking pattern. Notice how I'm doing hybrid picking. If you wanna just use your pick, that's fine, but I think it sounds a lot better if you can mix the pick and the fingers together. Okay, so this last set of notes is six, five, seven, six. Then you can either go to the fifth fret low E string or to an A major chord to join back in for the chorus. Okay, now let's play through the entire guitar solo for you to practice along with at a nice slow tempo. One, two, three. On to line number two, descend. Nine, seven. One, two, slide. Just like that, practice that over and over again. It takes some time to get the phrasing down. I simplified it just a little bit from what Willie played. Uh, so practice playing along with me first, then if you wanna to try to get some of those uh, very intricate kind of um, expressive details down, then play along with the original track. Okay, beautifully done everybody. You have the intro, the verse, the chorus, you have the guitar solo rhythm, and also all of those licks. Now you're on the final step, the last thing you need to learn before you're ready to perform learning chorus number two, and that very nice little picking pattern to end the song. Okay, so this is going to be played exactly like chorus number one for the most part. It starts off with the A major chord. Someday when we meet up yonder, the D, A, the walk down, just like before, we'll stroll hand and hand again walk down to the E chord in a land that knows no parting the walk up blue eyes crying in the rain okay so up until there everything was verbatim played just like chorus number one Okay, but now we're at the very end of the tune. We're gonna have an E, A, E chord change with a really nice picking line, and I'm going to employ some hybrid picking here. It should sound like this. Okay, so I had the E chord, I played E, D, E, B. I'm gonna do something very similar to the A chord. A, D, E. And then I'm gonna finish up the song in dramatic fashion with E, D, B, G, E. And of course, I'm employing a ritardando effect, slowing down for a dramatic ending. You put all that together and we have. Just like that, congratulations everybody. You're ready to perform this classic country tune. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.